Don't be a fool like us, don't get these strawberries. Here's eight things you can be spending your £8.50 on instead here at the Borough Market. Now before getting into the list, let me put a disclaimer out. The product itself is good. Strawberries covered in chocolate, if the season is right, can be a really good as you walk kind of snack or treat. This post is more about highlighting what this historic market has to offer, especially for that kind of money. And specifically in this post, we'll be highlighting some halal friendly options. Spot number one is Mei Mei, a Singaporean spot that has been made famous by a certain YouTuber. In the heart of Borough Market lies this spot that does Singaporean and Malaysian classics. And for this video, we're going to take a look at two things that you can get for £8.50 instead of those strawberries. Number one is Kaya Toast. Kaya Toast is the classic Singaporean or Malaysian breakfast dish that is probably one of our favourite breakfasts ever. And it's quite hard to find it in London. This is one of those few places that actually does it. So definitely give that a go here. And number two is one of their hot drinks. You can go for a Singaporean coffee or a tea. And this is definitely, again, a must try when you're here. And the next spot we're going to visit is one of our favorite stalls in the market, Jumar Kitchen. And we absolutely love all of their offerings. But what we're here for now is a couple of things that will be under the price of those strawberries. The first thing is Kubba. Kubba is their main thing that they show off about. This is basically a unique Iraqi fried dumpling that pairs really well with Amba, a mango chutney. And then the second thing that we want to get from here is the kanafa. A kanafa is originally, of course, a Palestinian dessert, but this had a bit of an Iraqi twist for a floral flavor came through, which added a nice little twist and it was delicious. These two are also under the price of the strawberries. Number five is bread ahead and specifically their donuts. Their donuts are regarded as one of the best, if not the best, in the whole of London. They do some amazing donuts. They're not the cheapest, however, in terms of quality, they are probably one of the best, or if not, they are right up there. What flavors to get? You've got a wide variety of choices, but I would highly recommend the current viral trending flavor of donut that they've got, which is the creme brulee donut. The best of two worlds. Definitely get that one. Number six is yet another sweet treat. This is the crumble from Humble Crumble. This is probably one of the best desserts or one of our favorite desserts in London. They've got a number of branches around London now, but the Borough Market one is always busy, always busy. This is probably one of the busiest stalls in the market. So if you've got the time and if you've got the patience, I would strongly advise queuing up because you won't regret purchasing this. And the amazing thing is, yes, this is also, this is also cheaper than them strawberries. The crumble from humble crumble the amazing thing about this place the the another amazing thing about this place is that you can kind of edit the crumble as you like so what you like more of you can include more of and it, you can suit it to your taste now before looking at the final two things that you can get here i want to put another disclaimer out i with this video i intend no hate whatsoever to the strawberries and the people selling the strawberries if there is a market out there if there are customers happily queuing up to pay for these strawberries, then I would probably be doing the same. My only issue, my real issue probably, is with the tourists who come from abroad, come from America and Australia and the likes, and they claim they've flown all the way over to London just to try these strawberries. I don't get it. That's all. I just don't get it. These same strawberries you can pick up from any supermarket, any any store here in the in in London for a quarter of the price. Please, someone explain it to me. I really just don't get it. Anyway, onto our final spot. This is a Thai spot that does a couple of desserts that we're interested in. The name of the stall is Canon Crop, and this is located um, opposite the Humble Crumble spot. Um, they do uh, authentic Thai street food dishes as well, but we're here for um, their desserts, um, a couple of their desserts. The first one, um, which you're not going to see on the screen, is the classic mango sticky rice. The second one is the um, canum croc. This is canum croc, the one you see being made here. These are mini Thai pancakes. They are delicious, they are comforting, and you really can't go wrong with them as you're walking around the market.